So I hope we have time for this. So here's Elizabeth Warren. Now, you know, she has a hard time with hecklers. She has a hard time. <laughs> so here she was giving a speech, and she had, and it was uh, a lot of African Americans in the audience, and she started to get heckled, and she didn't know how to handle it. You Picked saw this, up right? A new pile of dirty laundry. And she just freezes. So then the crowd has to start chanting, let her talk. She, she's literally not speaking. It looks like she can't. It looks like she, she can't. can't. It looks like she can't. <laughs> Too busy waffling. Too busy yeah. waffling. Too busy waffling. So you remember what happened, right? Ayanna Presley had to get on stage and save her ass. Watch this. So what did she I, say right then? She goes, what do we do? Did you hear what Elizabeth Warren said to Ayanna Presley? She goes, what do we do? Yep. You're the fucking leader. <laughs> What do we do? You're supposed to tell them what to do. You don't ask someone else what to fucking do. Well, Ayanna Presley knew what to do. I want to say something. No one is here to quiet you, least not this black woman, who know what it is when people have tried to put me in a quarter and tell me to be silent. You are welcome here. The senator is here to talk about the contributions fighters like you have made to history. So in this moment, so I, I want to just say something. So in this moment, there are many people that do not know this story because we have been rendered as a historical footnote in history. So I am going to appeal to you to not dishonor that history. We are grateful. We are grateful for your activism and your voice, and you are welcome here. And we would love to convene after this about the issue that you are here to stoke our consciousness about. But when these women have been ignored this long, this is their moment, and we are going to hear the story. I'd vote for that woman. <laughs> I only hope that Ayanna Presley actually made those people make all that noise so she could come over and save Elizabeth Warren. I, uh... I just wish that when like Liz Warren whispered to her, what do we do? I wish she would have just whispered back, suspend your run for president. <laughs> I'll get you out of this, but. I thought Preston was gonna go, hey, my bad, uh, I'm down with Bernie. I thought that's what she was gonna say. <laughs> she goes on The View. <laughs> wait, 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 her dad was famous, come on. <laughs> Megan McCain is when uh, she's lipstick and hate put together. So here she wants to get uh, Elizabeth Warren to say terrorist, that Soleimani was a terrorist, which she did say already. But for whatever reason, they play this frickin' word police game. And, why, why, and, and, and by the way, Elizabeth Warren, um, she crumbles. Well, That's I, a surprise. We have had conversations. I believe you respect the American military and respect our troops. You've traveled overseas many times. So I just want to say that first and foremost. Sure. Um, you issued a statement calling, calling Soleimani a murderer. Later, you issued a second statement saying that he was, quote, an assassination of a senior foreign military official. Now, this is a man who obviously is responsible for hundreds of American troops, deaths, carnage that we can't even imagine. The Treasury Department and the State Department have both ne designated the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps as a terrorist organization. Mm -hmm. I don't understand the flip-flop. I, I don't understand 
why it was so hard to call him a terrorist, and I would just like you to explain. So, I, I, and I appreciate it, and I appreciate your kind comments. You know, all three of my brothers yes, served in the yes. military. We've talked and about I believe this you, before. No, yes, no, I believe you respect and, the military. And, and I know you do, too. Mm -hmm. um, oh. <laughs> oh, my God. I have a military dildo. You want to suck it? <laughs> what the fuck? This isn't a change. Their truth. The question is, what is the response that the President of the United States should make? And what advances the interests of the United States of America? Think about Saddam Hussein. Mm. You want to talk about a, a bad guy, right? Oh, okay. However, going to war in Iraq was not in the interests of the United States. Yeah. We lost thousands of American lives. It cost us here at home. It has cost us around the world. It has been a part of this cost in the Middle East that has ended up with millions of people who've lost their lives, who've been injured, uh, who've been displaced. The question for the President of the United States is to understand what's going on, have an overall strategy, and pick an appropriate response. And going back to Cody's question, at an appropriate a terrorist? time, he's part of a group that has but been is he designated. A terrorist? He is part of a group that's been designated. So he's not a terrorist, just, of course. Oh, ah! <laughs> when Elizabeth Warren go, what's your fucking game, McCain? What are you doing? What I'm trying to do is take us forward out of war and you want to play some fucking bullshit word police game? I'm not going to play that shallow bullshit game of got you. What I'm going to do is lay out my plan of how we go forward in America and I'll let you play your bullshit daytime talk show game. That's what she should have said instead of going... So is he a terrorist? Is he? Is, is, he, he, a is he a terrorist? Is he a terrorist? Is, but is he a terrorist? Is he? I, I mean, I'm, if she can't stand up to Meghan McCain, I'm sure she's going to stand up to the pharmaceutical industry. Actually, I'm sure. What the fuck is this? Did what? she lean over to Whoopi and go, what do we do? <laughs> Liz, Liz, Liz Warren folds more often than a clothing store employee. Come on. I mean, she did need help. This is what I would have wished would have happened. He's part of a group that has but been is he designated. he's a terrorist. He is part of a group that's been designated. So he's not a terrorist. Just, of course he is. I want to say something. The <laughs> senator is here to talk about the contributions fighters like you have made to history. He's okay. part of a group that our federal government has designated as a terrorist. Okay. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> There's no way she's gonna be able to handle Trump. There's, there's no way she can't handle. That should be like that should be written into the, if you're gonna run for president, there should be a law. You have to be able to handle Meghan McCain. It was like the dumbest like middle school phone conversation ever. When you break it down, like you love the military, you do too. You love it more yeah. though. <laughs> Holy Liz, shit. yeah, Megan, you can't hang up until you say it. Oh, come on. You have to say it. I won't hang up until you say it. <laughs> Terrorist. Okay, bye. Hey, come see a live Jimmy Dore show. We're going to be in Tempe, Arizona, Sacramento, San Jose, Miami. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all tickets to all of our live shows. And go to jimmydorecomedy.com slash join to become a premium member. We give you hours of bonus material every week. Thanks for your support.